actual good game. I like this game. <laughs> even though the even with the opening, I like this game. Round three, MLK, an actual good game. Outplaying the opponent, YouTube. start to finish. Hi YouTube. What? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, that last game was a scotch. Okay. So, my opponent enjoys playing the stone wall. That is his chess fetish. Um, my chess fetish is punishing the stone wall. Yay. So, we had a game like this in quick chess recently. So, c6 is my only inaccuracy of the entire game, otherwise I play perfectly. And yep. the reason I play c6 is just to stay in my little structure that I've been learning. Um, because if this arrives from different move orders, then sometimes I do play c6. Um, but c5 is just much better. So that is why c6 is my only bad move. Yeah. But I didn't think it was such a big deal. Like, I just build up c5 later and... I don't know. He's, it's not like he's gonna do anything. He plays the stone wall. Yeah. C c c5 allows for some complications, which you don't have to go for. Like yeah. Block. Yeah. Why allow your king to be open when you cannot? And yeah. you can just play the London with black. Right? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what I did. But, like, <laughs> I, I, it's different. It's different here. It is way different, don't worry. So if bishop d3, we play bishop g4. And if not bishop d3, then we play bishop f5, because we like our bishop on f5. And if mm -hmm. he ever challenges our bishop, on d3 here, we just play e6, and the point is that is if he ever takes here, I have a lot of control over this horribly, horribly weak e4 square, um, and I'm not really weakening my e5 square because I still have an f-pawn that I can kick a knight away with, so this structure is favorable for black. Um, yeah. So he learned his lesson last time, he did end up taking on f5 in a different position, but it was not good for him, so he did not. Um, he just castled. I played bishop d6. I'm not sure about bishop e7 or bishop d6. Like, I don't really know what the difference is. I don't know. Mm. I, maybe maybe bishop e7 is better, because after bishop d6, um, when I play c5, he's taking with a tempo, so I don't like have a choice. I have to take back. But my piece is a, isn't attacked on e7 when he takes, so maybe that's an argument for e7 over d6. This... Uh, however, d6 is good because it attacks h2 one day that's right <laughs> which <clears throat> maybe happened maybe maybe i don't know um uh but yeah his his dark square bishop is very nice i like it he, uh, it has a future he he loves he loves doing that yeah he loves putting his own bishop in a gimp suit it's one kinky chess fetish yep. okay, okay. <laughs> bishop d6 <laughs> Uh, Queenie 2 is nonsense, doesn't do anything. Queenie 2 was su such a waste. I have no idea. Well, he just shuffles like, his pieces around inside the gimp suit. Um, he just, like, tries to get out. That's, like, another part of the fetish. He just, like, struggles and he, oh. like, he, like, tries to break out of the gimp suit, you know? <laughs> um, that's part of it for him. So he makes oh. it as bad as possible first. So that's what Queenie 2 is. He's getting in his bishop's way. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so I developed a piece. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> what are these analogies? It's the closest analogy I can think of. Look at what he's doing, and he keep does he keeps doing it. He does this every game, so one can only assume that he loves it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not that he doesn't know; it's that he loves it. Okay. <laughs> um, I developed pieces, and he played ninety five. Okay. Yeah. So I don't I don't want to take this knight because then like he he has some control over my dark squares and it's like uh yeah, I I don't want that. Um Al so also the knight is not really a threat without any other piece helping it attack. Yeah, so the knight's not really doing anything there. Um and eventually yeah. like I'm going to move this knight and I'm just going to kick it out possibly. Yeah. So it's looks pretty but it's not going to stay there. It's not really a big problem. Um, he's, he's like a dog that doesn't bite. He's just cute. Right. 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 Yeah. I, I, I took on d3 here. I had a reason. I, I'm having trouble remembering exactly what my, my thought process was. Why? Um, I thought it was 
he wanted to exchange every piece but but the dark square bishop and then True. play against him because that's what you did uh last time i'm just curious about my timing reason though because i could have taken that uh -huh. bishop whenever and i know i had a very specific reason why here i liked it um okay just don't know what it was uh no this is uscf mosquito oh i know what it was okay so i think i wanted to put my knight on e4 um, but I wanted to tree his good bishop off first. Mm -hmm. um, so he just doesn't have the chance to play c4 ever. Or, I mean, he can, but it's not so good. And he's not going to take with the pawn. He definitely should. But that would ruin his little stone wall. Um, I definitely think he should take here. But... Yeah, because then, like, if you take with the queen, you, you wasted a tempo with queen e2. Yes, also if he takes with the knight, he wasted a tempo. Yeah. So, so I, taking with the pawn is so logical. Yeah, I, I knew eventually I wanted to take this because he, he played here and it's just gaining a tempo. Like ev even if moves yeah. happen, it's still a tempo. Um, yeah. But if I play knight e four right now, like he he might even play something ridiculous like g four. Oh and I, yeah, I, g four. I, I, I thought this was maybe his point, but also he could have just been doing this because that's just something you do. Um. So I just yeah, like, have to, didn't yeah, want to yeah. have to think about that, you know? Exactly. Just just take it. Sensible decision. So queen d3, now I go knight e4, and now f6 is like sometimes going to happen to him. Um, yeah, one day. Right. And my knight can be reinforced, but it's not so easy to do that for him, because even if yeah. he reinforces it, he's still getting kicked. This is why we don't push our pawns in this way. This is why we don't yeah. do this. Your knight is never getting kicked out, ever, ever, ever. But his can, so... Exactly. So he plays knight d2, He's, he wants to trade this off, and I said, okay. Um, so you That's either have like... to move your queen again, or take with the bishop, and then it's like, what's the bishop doing there? Because I know he wants to play yep. c3. He yep. loves doing that. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's the stone wall. Usually you play c3 too. Um, I forgot. I for gore, <laughs> but um, sorry, I was reading the Twitch chat and then I zoned out and then I said that. Okay, um, okay. So also, my knight's coming back, so it's yes. okay to give yeah. it away because it's coming back. And also, his knight had potential to be good, so I would <laughs> never allow him to have that. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, when he played knight d two, I was saying how you should not trade this good knight for this bad knight. You should never do that. <laughs> and as I'm saying it, you're trading it. <laughs> but then I saw why. Because you're not allowing him knight f3 mm -hmm. by taking. This... And you can easily replace your yeah, knight. Yeah, this piece has more potential to become good than this piece. Yes. And I'm replacing this knight with this bishop, and I'm replacing this knight with this knight. So it's good. Yeah. Yep. Um, so that is why we do this. Put our knight on f6. Yeah. And we're just moving our pieces around and slowly improving the position, and he's just, you know, doing this. Um, bishop e1! Like, I couldn't... <laughs> like, okay, like, okay, we're, we're still moving along. Like, this is the Gimsuit containment area. The Gimsuit. And this is him trying to break out. So this is, like, still part of it for him. <laughs> um, I don't want to allow him to just, like, pin my knight, because it's awful. So I just like played ninety four, which is the point anyway. And then it's like, yeah. why did why did you do that? I wasn't gonna take that. <laughs> so he, he didn't want you to take his uh, king toy, or I don't know how you say. It. I, no, I think that's accurate. I think that's exactly what it is. <laughs> um. So then he goes back to f three. Like, hmm. All right. We, this was too adventurous. It's time to go back. Um. Yeah, where it's safe and warm. The game footage is continuing. More noodle dancing. So I like didn't really. I don't remember trying to make sense of knight f three because it just doesn't. So I just castled. Or no, I didn't. I played queen b six. Didn't I? Queen what did I do? Yes. Yeah. Queen b six. Castling I think is also fine. So queen b six. Um, he he brought his bishop from this square to this square. This is weak, and uh, he's he's gonna have problems here with c5. Yes, e3 forever bad. It's awful. So interestingly, so, yeah, white should play b4 here. 
Wow. Which I, I, I think I overlooked because I didn't realize that if I take, he has this move. And I'm just losing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if B, B4 is a fantastic move. Jeez. Um, That's so cool. Yeah. I, I did not see this. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't even realize B4 is legal, honestly. It's weird, because it's supported by a bishop on E1. On E1. <laughs> when is the bishop ever on E1 to support B4? Uh, Only here. Only here. Because you, you, you also look at B3 rather than B4. Like, Rook B1, anything but B4. Yeah. Well, he has to be quick about so it, because cool. if he tries to prepare it, then I just go C5, which was my point. Uh, that is true. That's why B4 is such a great move. Um, B4 is no, awesome. he, he didn't find B4. That that's he that would be moving upon two spaces. Um, bishop h four. He's getting out. I don't He's know. He's poking. Like his his bishop was like actually kind of good here, shockingly. So he put it here. Shocking. Yeah. And I was like, I I I I can't I can't spend like all my energy trying to make sense of these moves. So I'll just I'll just play c five. Break time. Um, I did have to spend some time on considering like what. Like, is there a point to the, you know... I had to consider if there was a point to this. So, yeah. his point was knight g5, which I, I did spend some time looking at. But I take, and... Okay, he, he takes one of these ways. I think if he took this way... Oh, he did take that way. If he takes with the bishop... h6? I think I wanted to, like, do this somehow. Yes, h6, g5, we were looking at it. Because it's, then it's in so the tempting. end... It's so tempting. If... Like, it opens up uh, the bishop on d6. Right. However, he can maybe sometimes go back to g3. Right. I mean, fine. I can also just castle here, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can. Is This bishop is a pawn. It's it's look. It's, yes. It's a pawn a chain with a bishop point. at the end. Yeah. So. King toy. That's right. This is like the... Uh... Eh, never mind. Okay. Um... Never mind. Yep. Yep. Okay, he took with the pawn, um, which is like, wow. And then I was like having PTSD for a minute from my game with Seaman Cannon. Oh. And I was like, oh, there's a pawn here. Like, I have to be careful about this mm -hmm. or something. But I don't really. So I just castle. Yeah. Which is good. If you if you never move your pawns, you're fine in front of your king. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, oh, great. Moving a pawn would be um, a catastrophe. But as long as I don't yeah. make any weaknesses, then I just don't have any. Makes sense. So Didn't now it's it. it's time for a a, a stone wall <laughs> attack. So there's a big problem with rook f3, and I'll let you. I'll I'll, I'll let me see if, if people can un can find it. Pause the video. Why have I? Why can I not take here, but I can take here? That was his name, Seaman Cannon. He goes by Sam. He's the Grandmaster. Sam Cannon. Zan. He's a good good guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yes, the rooks defend each other. This rook is defended, and now it's not. So now he can't play rook d1 and take my b-pawn. So he just gave me a pawn. So he continues bringing the uh, the big guns in. The power tools. Uh, power bottoms. That's, yeah, yeah. Th these rooks are power bottoms. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I just, like, made a little slight miscalculation here, I think. It doesn't actually matter. But I was deciding between rook c8 and then c takes d, or c takes d, then rook c8. Um, mm -hmm. And the problem with my move is is if I play rook c8, then he can just go c3, and this is defended. But if I go here, and he goes c3 here, I think I just go c4. And the queen can't go back. Uh... And he's losing the C pawn, which is something I overlooked. Oh yeah, that is true. Like I just take here, which I I thought I was winning the C pawn either way, and then I was like, oh, but yeah. but this way is like technically more forcing, but it's not because he just he just goes C three if I if I go rook C eight now. But I, I think it's also better because like this way because you have the semi open file for the rook. True, but because I don't have like a deadly pass C pawn in this case. I guess. And he would still but have I mean, his weak e-pawn in the other scenario. Could be true. But I mean, these pawns are falling. Like, both yeah, of these they're pawns. hard to defend. Um, yeah. I actually didn't like, even see three and see c3 until he played it, which is weird. 
I, like oh. I have these weird blindnesses sometimes where I just don't consider obvious moves. It's, it's very bad. Um, it's missable. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of upset here, but I, I just take another pawn, and he plays rook h3. Okay. Critical moment. Um, sort of. Is it here? Oh, no, I guess it's not. So I go queen c4, and he plays queen yeah. f3, and he wants to do no. this. Yeah, no. Here is the critical moment, where I yeah. spent a lot of time... Um, Find a move. It's, it is, it is. It can be kind of a problem, especially if he gets his queen to h5. He can play bishop g3, and it's a discovered attack on my h-pawn and on my bishop. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't ever want to push any pawns in front of my king, because it just makes horrible weaknesses. If I have to play g6, then I've something has gone wrong. Something has gone terribly wrong if I, if I have to do that. Yep. So how do you defend h7? It's a problem, because like this bishop is useless, and the rooks can't help, and the queen is like pretty cut off. Yeah. And we don't. We already know we don't want to play g six. Hmm. Yeah, I also like that this bishop is just in the way, no matter where it is. <laughs> so h six is also pushing a pawn in front of our king, and that would be a very bad thing to do. H six is probably a lot worse than g six, because he takes it. Uh, h6 is off. Yeah. But maybe they think h6, uh, gh, and g6 then? Uh, it, but then it, why play it, h6? It, it, it... No. Just I don't gonna, know. I'm just gonna say if no wanna, and move on. If you want a suicide, just... I don't know. I'm not... Listen, I don't play the stone wall. True. Not a masochist. h6 was a troll. Well, how am I supposed to know with the Twitch chat? How would I possibly know that? Exactly. Queen a2 to c2. So there's a problem with queen a2. Kind of. Kind of, only. Kind of a big problem. I guess it's not that big of a well, I don't know. What do you mean? Rook f2? Yeah, rook f2, queen b1. But queen b1, yeah. And rook f1, queen c2. But then it's the same position, right? That you get otherwise? I guess queen a2 is also good. Hello? Ah! Oh my god! Don't ever do that again. What? Just then. To okay. Tristan, I'm just gonna let you know right now. I'm streaming. I'm streaming. So, so, don't say anything crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Please don't get me banned from my birthday. Except it's not my birthday. <laughs> he, did, he didn't know. Poor man. <laughs> oh. Oh, he left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> I, <No. laughs> I died of cringe. <laughs> okay, so Queen A two is probably yeah. also good. Queen A two is probably the same, but yeah, it's the same. I think for some reason my move is a lot better, but I don't actually know why. Oh, oh okay, they're they're no, they're pretty much the same. I I mean I also I think Queen B three is just better practically because I'm still touching the C pawn. Oh, that could be. It could be a reason. I think that was like, my main more, point. Like I like to also just keep the queen tied down. Um, he mm -hmm. also likes that type of thing, but anyway. Yeah, you're sort of dancing around the pawn. Yeah, so this it's is like this was my icky. little little uh, my little thing. Yeah. It's okay, don't worry about it. I should have warned people in the the Discord. Um, it's my fault. So this is this is the idea. We're rerouting the queen to this diagonal. Yeah, that that was so cool. I, I think there's technically other ways, but I don't know what they are. It seemed like an only move situation to me. Mm -hmm. um, yay, thanks for the raid. Gen moves. Yay. Um, I think Daniel pointed out Queen B3, Queen C2. And uh, then once you played it, it was it was awesome. Oh, cool. It was, it was like a, a moment there. Yeah. So, yeah, Queen B3, I think, is a great move. Um, of course, like, he doesn't stop to consider what I might have, you know, my point might have been. Um, he just plays queen h5 anyway, to which I respond queen c2. And um, white is already dead lost here, because he has a lot of problems. Th this is hard to defend. All his pieces are just, like, doing nothing here, because my queen is defending like a god. He has three three nice. pieces over here, but none of them matter because my queen is so good. Nice bishop. Very good bishop. Yes. Okay, we play bishop e1 again to defend Yay. defend the pawn. Um, 
get back into the game suit. So here's like another like moment um, where I make a best move. I don't think it's I think it's really difficult to make a bad move here unless you push a pawn in front of your king. <laughs> but um, yeah. so this is not happening. This Never. queen is is just here. I I've secured this entire side of the board. This this whole area of the board it's just there's just no play for him. No. And he has no control over Wait. this side. What? You're recording, right? I'm Sorry. I'm recording. Okay. Um Yeah, so we just cool. go A5. We just go. Exactly. Rook F3, Rook D3. Um well, I could just play Queen G6 like worst case. Yeah, cuz there's a point like okay, uh like this position does look pretty for back, but you have to win. Right? Yeah, you got to go. You got to do something. Yeah. White is not going to resign. I also just yeah. love how his bishop moved kind of out of the way here, but now it's in the way here of this rook. So, so I respond <laughs> with a5, showing how stupid the bishop is once again. <laughs> it's always in the way. Just trade it off. I don't think that you could beat Magnus here, George. Yep. I mean, you should, but I don't know if you could. Okay. Rook f2, he's attacking my queen. And then I became aware, if you will, of... Aware. I was seeing, like, I was seeing ghosts basically of um <clears throat> oh wait no it wasn't here never mind that was it was a different position okay it hasn't okay. it hasn't gotten there yet okay 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 queen g6 he doesn't yeah, want to so trade Chat. white can almost play rook f6 exactly so yeah, this yeah, i w i yeah. was having nightmares about this so i just played bishop e7 um yeah i don't think it ever works but i also just like don't why allow that um there are other points to this move obviously i'm attacking this my bigger point here was that f6 is game over because if he takes i'm i'm also having um bishop takes d4 ideas sometimes or taking on c3 ideas depending on what happens here was my i mean here it doesn't make as much sense but like you could see how i could take here takes i don't know i was well, th there was there were tactics just yeah. trust me just trust me so yeah f6 and it's it's just game over so like if he takes, take with the bishop. Why did it say inaccuracy? Oh, never mind. Um, again, I'm attacking yeah, yeah. his queen. He has no good place for his queen. This is a big thing. Oh yeah, that was the thing. Queen b1 with bishop takes yep. d4, unleashing the rook was my main idea behind bishop e7, bishop f6. Yeah. Um, he went rook g3. Doesn't really address the threat, but I don't think he can. It's just very strong. Um, and he yeah. Tries. This is this is what's happening. His queen is hanging, he can't stop it. Um, and he can't he can't do anything here. He can't move his queen. There's just nothing he can do. He's just getting mated. Um, I believe that you guys were saying um like this or something was something you guys liked. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I I did watch that part of the VOD. Um this is nice, but my my way is just like he's just mated and he's just yeah, it's more precise your way. Like yeah. this, still, uh, again, but this game over. Well, yeah, like the thing I was like, I think people were saying like they didn't like F six, but S F six is just he needs to resign. Forcing the, the F six is opening this rook is the main point. Yeah, like otherwise, what are you gonna do? You're gonna like push your A pawn, like a. Yeah, I could do that. I just I this was seemed to be like the fastest way to get the game over with and go to lunch. So, this was definitely my best game accuracy wise. But it's also like a lot easier to do against an opening like the stone wall. I guess. But you you never had a weakness, that's the thing. That was so good. Well, he had so many that it would I wouldn't be allowed to have one cuz there can only be so many weaknesses on a chessboard and he had all of them. All of them. Yeah. This is this was the position he resigned here. Um, so anyway, yeah. that was my gimp suit of the day. Yep. Go gimp suits. It's not quite as fun when they voluntarily get into the gimp suit. When they enjoy it. Yeah, because then it's Especially like, well, I have, but I, I just should be playing this way. You know, it's not like yeah. I had to play brilliantly to get this position. It's just sort of happened. Yeah. I see. He'll get you eventually. Mm-hmm. Probably. Copium. That's how statistics work. It's true. I probably will have lose him eventually if I keep playing him this much. 
half of the fun is of having a gimsuit is knowing he doesn't want to be in it, yeah.